Hey, Jesse Brizendine here with a quick thought of the day for you. Success without fulfillment is like a hot fudge sundae without the hot fudge. You're missing out on the best part. Every day I talk with success-minded and goal-oriented people, which is absolutely awesome, who want to do extraordinary things and make their lives in the world a better place. Fantastic. I'm all about that. But when we start getting down to the nitty-gritty about what being successful is to them, oftentimes their definition eludes something extremely important. And that important piece, I would argue, is probably the most important piece, and that is what fulfillment is for them. Many of us are raised with the idea and the belief that to be successful, we have to do big things, we have to earn big paychecks. Perhaps success is having $10,000, $100,000, $10 million in the bank account or more. Maybe success for you is having a business or your kid's college paid for, whatever that is. Those are all awesome and fantastic goals, but what happens when you're successful, but you're missing out on the fulfillment piece? Peace. Right, we've all seen the stories about the wealthy millionaires and the, the financially set billionaires who commit suicide and we all wonder why, why in the hell would they do that? They seem to have everything. I would argue absolutely not. They're missing the most important thing and that is what fulfillment is to them. There's a great story I was reminded of one time and it went something like this. There's a gentleman whose name has eluded me. He had made a, a pretty large sum of money in, in over, over a course of several business deals. And he had hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank and he wasn't happy. So he did what most people would do in his situation. He bought a big house. And then the person asked, well, how'd that make you feel? He said, that made me feel happy. So he bought a bigger house. I still wasn't happy. And he was asked, well, what'd you do next? And he said, well, I bought a plane. How'd... And he still wasn't happy. And so what did you do next? He bought a yacht to go with the plane, but he still wasn't happy. He was so frustrated because he had all this money and he'd pursued for so long what his version of success was, yet he wasn't happy. And it wasn't until someone offered him the opportunity to go on a goodwill mission overseas where he was helping people in a war-torn country, I think it was Serbia or Sarajevo, something like that, fit wheelchairs to the kids who had had their legs either blown off or damaged in landmines. And he said while he was there, he met this young boy who was about 8 or 10 years old. And the young boy was blind and he asked him, he said, Sir, sir, can I memorize your face? And the, the guy was kind of taken aback by it. And he said, sure. And he bends down and this helps this little boy and the little boy starts going around in his face. And he says, out of curiosity, he said, why do you want to memorize your face? And the little boy looks at him and says, because the next time we meet in heaven, I'd remember who you are and be able to thank the person who's shown me such kindness today. The wealthy man at that point, he said his heart melted, his eyes began to leak out tears like he had never had before. And he realized in that moment what fulfillment means to him. And from that point forward, he dedicated a good part of his life to doing the things that fulfilled him and made his life meaningful and worth living. So my question to you is this, do you know what fulfillment is to you? And are you living your life in a way where each and every day you are fulfilled and are actively pursuing the things that are fulfillment? Because success without fulfillment is like leaving off the hot fudge off a hot fudge sundae. Life is too short to enjoy it any less. We'll see you next time.